We have uh, made an application with partners to explore for shale gas in the Karoo region. We, we don't know the status of that application at this point in time, but hopefully uh, after a while it will be successful. We hope so. Uh, and then that opens up opportunities. If there is gas there and it's economically uh, extractable, then that provides opportunities to supply gas into our own facilities or to on sell to other people. We look at Sassel's detail. We make our money between the gas price and the oil price because we take gas and we convert it into oil. In fact, what we do is we speed up Mother Nature by a couple of million of years. Gas into oil. So the bigger the gap between gas prices and oil prices, the more money we make. And the reason it's shot up that way is because there's new technology being developed in the United States which enables the extraction of gas out of shale which was previously not an economic thing to do. And that's had a huge effect on gas prices in the United States. They are, they are a lot lower and have been for the last six months than they've been for a long time. It's quite a radical shift. And it's having an impact around the world on gas prices. Whereas we've always had a unique competitive advantage in gas to liquids, we're also starting to get a nice competitive advantage against liquefied natural gas, LNG. LNG, just to remind you, is if there's a, you can take gas, natural gas, out of the Middle East, you turn it into liquid, make it very cold, basically, and then you ship it in special ships, say, to example, the United States. But you sell it in the United States as gas. With gas prices being low, some of these LNG projects are not making the returns that they would like to be making. We supply into a different market. We supply into the oil market, which is much bigger, and is not dependent on this dynamic. So this puts us in a very good space. 